Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on Wedding Planner system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am calling an object of uh, wedding class. It's a GUI form, so to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, then click on swing UI designer, and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. I have named it as wedding. Okay, so this is the dot form file of it, uh, which has the UI and the dot Java file has the code. Let's move to the uh, UI first. This is the JTEX fields. This is the J panel of border layout i have uh, named it as this and uh, over here it's a j label and i have given the name as fair okay this is a j table and uh, do not forget to add the j table under j scroll pane this is a j text area and these are the three buttons which i have provided over here for searching the venues for booking and the reset okay everything uh, this panel gets disposed and then this panel appears again so let's move uh, okay let's see the code now this is the class and these fields will be automatically added once you design the panel and then create an object of uh, uh, jframe class and then i am using this jdate chooser for adding the date okay uh, it will only be available once you add the jar file so to do so to do that you need to go over here in the project structure then under modules you will find uh, this add button add your jar file which uh, is named as j calendar and for building the connection to the uh, database you need to add this mysql connector okay then click on apply and then okay uh, this is the uh, object of jdate chooser booking date okay you need to pass this uh, over here dow uh, was my name of this uh, date panel okay so i am adding my this uh, jdate chooser over here okay so the calendar will be available and initializing my fair which was this okay over here this you can see the j label with zero okay i'm adding over here you can also provide this over here okay you can add from here provide the text this uh, this is the listener for the search button so right click over here then click on create listener add the listeners for each button and uh, let's see the functionality of the search button what i am doing here is checking if the uh, data fields are null or not if they are null then uh, pop up the message with uh, this please fill name and capacity to search okay so and then uh, if the data is fields are filled with data and they are not null then do this which is uh, i'm executing this query select all from wedding this is the name of my uh, table and uh, checking uh, where capacity is greater than or equal to whatever the uh, user has provided okay and first i am converting it in the form of this integer okay passing it then build the connection and uh, execute the query and store it in the result set and then form the table model by calling this method set model and i am using this method which i have created on my own but instead use the db utils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set to that it will work in the same way catch the error if there is any and pop the message with the error okay this is all about the search button let's check the listener of the book button okay this is the uh, what i'm doing here is popping this message uh, once you book the uh, okay book the venue so find your booking details attached this message will be popped up and then this method is called print pass okay this is the listener 
and uh, what it is doing that uh, you can add the listener from going over here in the table right click over here click on create listener and then click on mouse listener okay so whatever the row you select from this table under a specific row and a column the whatever the data is there it gets extracted and then you can populate the data into any of the text fields you require text fields all the jtext area okay so what i am doing here is uh, extracting the uh, the value of the amount okay booking amount i am extracting the booking amount so uh, okay uh, first i am calling this method get model and storing it in the variable dn of type default table model and then getting the row with this uh, get selected row method and storing it uh, it's of type integer so storing it is similarly and uh, then i am converting this uh, dm dot get value add you need to call this method and uh, it requires two parameters the row and the column I have provided over here and then converting its of type string so convert it into integer and I am storing it in a variable name as a okay and then fair which is uh, this j label okay this j label will be set to that text uh, which uh, whichever it is okay whichever value is stored over here it will be stored in the form of string Okay, this is the reset button. I am uh, just uh, disposing this frame and then calling the frame again so that uh, whatever data it shows over here uh, get renewed. And then this is the print pass which I am calling over here under book button. Okay, let's uh, check this. So first I am doing. Uh, okay, we require this as. A, print pass will extract the data from the table okay so the first i am doing is extracting the date okay in the and formatting it extracting the date by calling this j, j date chooser and dot get date method will extract the date but it will uh, also have the time also so we don't want that so i am formatting it in the same way uh, which you will see once you choose the date from the calendar okay this boarding is uh, name of my JTEX area you can call it any uh, you can set any name you want okay and uh, then what I am doing here is just adding the text so first text will be this and then uh, on another line my text will be this and similarly uh, leaving one space then I am setting my text to name concatenating it with the name that you have entered then the venue name where which you will have from the okay which you will have in the table okay so it will be stored at the 0th column so I am uh, this calling this selected row and the passing this 0th column okay the venue details will be concatenated with this and then capacity will be also stored in the database so that will also be concatenated the date will be extracted from the date that you have chosen over here okay and the total amount total fare will be calculated from this fare dot get text okay over here which will be populated once you click over here in the table okay so this is it let's uh, run the program okay there is uh, no data right now so let's provide a name first and then capacity okay if I press this button it pops up the message fill name and capacity so both are required capacity let's say I have uh, 150 members okay and uh, let's search venues okay 
we uh, i have already stored this values uh, this data into the data field so uh, we can either choose this hall or this okay the total fare which is the booking amount is uh, already showing okay from here this column capacity uh, sorry this amount column so 10000 for this hall and if we click on this we get 5000 okay so uh, let's choose the date and then book venue okay it pops up the message and then this is the details this i have entered over here and capacity is 500 okay and this is the hall okay these are your details okay uh, this capacity is getting 500 you can just uh, write capacity dot get text and then you will get 150 over here okay okay this is it it's working i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting ideas Thank you.